Karibu tujifunze web development kwa kutumia Python programming language na Streamlit library. Kutengeneza simple machine learning application kwa ajili ya kufanya predictive analytics or descriptive analytics. Kwenye video hii natangulisha project mpya inaitwa loan prediction ambapo customer ataingiza maombi yake hapa ya mkopo kisha tutaweza ku determine probability ya yeye kupata huo mkopo na ni aina gani ya biashara ambayo itamfaa kutokana na huo mkopo ambao ama uomba. So hii ni loan prediction system, okay? So kwenye episode hii utangulia jaribu kukukumbusha kwamba tulijifunza namna ya kutengeneza a simple application kwa ajili ya kufanya descriptive analytics. Descriptive manake una just ku tafuta mean, median, uh, summation, mode pamoja na taarifa nyinginezo. Okay? So tulitumia hii database ya MySQL kisha tukai link pamoja na application yetu kwa kutumia hiyo hiyo Python programming language. Okay? So ngejebu kuonyesha kwamba hapa tuli just ku fetch data kutoka kwenye database na ku find summation, mode, average ambayo ni mean, median pamoja na taarifa nyinginezo kisha tulitumia uh, graph representation kuweza ku visualize data zetu. So hii ni simple line na hii ni simple bar graph. Okay? Kisha tuona kwamba kwamba hii uh, dashboard yetu unaweza kaifilter. Kwa mfano nikija kuchagua hapa hii Midwest stack nione so unakuta data zina change kule. Eh nikija kuifuta hii for example far resist. Okay, unaona data zina change na graph inabadilika. So ukija cha huku just nikija ku select just a tabula utaona na hapa data zina change. Okay, so ngija just kufuta north east unaona ina just kufilter hii a table yetu. Okay, so just nikija kufuta hizi region investment Okay, unaona table ina just ku kuondoa hizo columns ambazo nimezifuta. Okay. So hii ni katika episode ile tutangulia na tuli just kuona namna kutengeneza a progress dialog kwa ajili ya kuonyesha a progress ya uh, progress ya business imefikia asilimia ngapi ya target. Target ni hii hapa na asilimia ni 54. 54 kwa current data ambazo nimeselect hapa. So ngija just kuongeza data utaona hii inaongezeka percentage. Okay. So inaitwa ni descriptive analytics of course tulielezea project yetu hii kwenye episode ya utangulia tulitengeneza kaisha. Okay. So leo tunaangalia hii hapa probability. So kale tukiangalia hapa nimechagua state ya Dodoma na zone ni east Dodoma east na nimechagua location ya facility yani sema mbona kani peleke business ni urban maeneo ya mjini. Na kisha nimechagua facility itakuwa ni frame Unaona probability iliyo kuja hapa kwamba probability ya mimi kupata mkopo ni 0.41 probability ambayo ni sawa na 1.4 na facility ambayo nimependekezwa nime, nime nifanye ni retail lakini hizi hapa ni available uh, business type kwa hiyo naweza kuchagua retail apartment kilimo construction na nyinginezo lakini kwa hizi informations ambazo nilizoandika hapa bas probability ya mimi kupata mkopo ni ni 41.4. Kwa mfano unachochagua labda pingine so Dodoma labda pingine uh, Dar es Salaam, okay? So unaona me change. Uh, probability ni 0.33 na hapo facility inakuwa fanya manufacturing. Okay, so ukichagua eneo hilo unatakuwa uchague uh, manufacturing. For example, nikichagua Kigoma utaona probability ni 36 ni nikichagua Kigoma for example uh, Midwest tutaona inaniambia wewe unataka uchague apartment labda uh, central so nikichagua central bado nipo kwenye apartment nikichagua rural okay unaona ime, ime, ime yani kwa maana kwamba hakuna data so unaona ni empty hamna data zozote kwa nikichagua for example uh, for example Mwanza nizeni ngajanga chagua Mwanza East nizeni ngachagua Aban Okay. So unaona probability ni 100%. Hapa imechange imekuwa 25 25%. Uh, 25% ya kupata mkopo na natakuwa nifanye apartment. Okay. So nikichagua for example uh, Kigoma then nikachagua East, utaona nimepata 45% ya mkopo. Okay. So nikitaka kufanya location ya rural area lakini Kigoma East utaona ana change. Okay, imekuwa ngapi imekuwa ni 100% ya kupata mkopo na natakuwa nifanye retail okay na ukija hapa utakuja kukutana na hii hapa just eh, 
a simple line graph simple bar graph kuonyesha kwamba uh, kuna farming kuna retail kuna organization kwa kwa hii kwa hizi data ambazo nimezingiza hapa farming ndio zimefanyika kwa wingi okay so hii just ni predictive models ambao tumetumia decision tree model okay so ni just kufilter hapo naweza type filter hii uh, table yangu just na filter by the information lakini napokuwa na filter unaona <coughs> ina just kuleta percentage ya loan probability okay so decision tree ni model ya kuweza ku predict situation fulani lakini model hii tofauti na hizi huko mtazitumia huku hizi ni descriptive models you know, descriptive manake una just ku tafuta central tendency uh, major variations hizo na nini mean mode uh, quantile uh, percentile decimal hizo pamoja na kutafuta gaps tafuta clusters na zote hizo ni just a descriptive okay wakati predictive una just kutumia probabilistic models ya kwanza kabisa ndio hiyo decision tree ambayo tunaenda kuitumia decision tree model ambayo yenyewe ina just ku find patterns katika data na kuja kuangalia ni prediction gani inaweza ikatuletea okay okay